where did this glass of water come from? Uh, many people would answer the tap. Uh, and I implore you to find out uh, if tonight's of any inspiration to you at all, to find out where that tap water comes from, whether it's groundwater, whether it's diverted here from the Sacramento River. Uh, and this is what I set out to do on my journey down the Colorado River. I'm really honored to be here tonight because uh, the legacy that Wallace Stegner has passed on to us, the body of literature, it is an amazing body of work about the West. But if you want to read one book in particular that is a primer for what I'm about to share with you, you should read the book uh, West of the 100th Meridian, which is a, a, a biography of sorts of John Wesley Powell, who advocated sensible and sustainable reclamation throughout the West. So um, I've noticed that when I bring tales of the Colorado River and diminishing water supplies as well as endangered habitats to the East Coast, that I have trouble breaking through and uh, allowing people to really understand what's at stake here. And there's nothing that illustrates this better than looking at this rainfall map here. It's obviously, it's an average rainfall map of the USA. And when you look closely at it, uh, this is roughly the 100th meridian here. And when you go east of the 100th meridian, you enter a zone uh, where there is plentiful rainfall of more than 40 inches a year. Uh, but when you come back to the West, the place that in John Wesley Powell's day was known as the Great American Desert, you see that it's a very different thing here, particularly in the West and in the Southwest. Uh, where I live uh, and where there are, are continuing claims upon water uh, from the Colorado River uh, in, in Denver, you can see that that, uh, that whole area on the, the east slope of the Rockies is a semi-arid region with something like 20 inches of rainfall a year, less than half of what you have on the East Coast. And as you begin to follow the river down from its source and through uh, the states of Utah, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and eventually to Arizona and Southern California, you eventually enter a region that has about two inches of rainfall a year. So even under the best of circumstances, what we're talking about uh, with this river and the myriad of rivers that connect to it is uh, an arid desert river. 